Right guys, it's uh, another day, another dollar and I thought I'd start off today and show you what I sold this morning paintings wise <laughs> First one is Grandma and Grandpa This is a, a painting close to my heart I really love this painting but it's off to a new home as they all are So Granny and Grandpa are going off to down south. That's where he's going down south. So there it is, off to. It's quite a successful morning selling paintings. So another one. This is going for a drive. You can see, and the light and getting a the light and sorted. It's going for a drive. <laughs> You see the bird there. I, I done it as a kind of angel bird looking over him. But that's uh, another one going down south. Next one is taking Fred to the park. That's Fred going off to the park with his uh, father with the ball <laughs> and the famous yellow house of Van Gogh. I like to put in my figurative paintings. And the next one is playing ball. This is an older, an older one than this a lot of years back. So that's another one, the yellow house. Uh, the yellow house. So that one is playing ball and that's going off down south as well. All my paintings this recently have been going, on, going down south to England so I'm happy. It's uh, paying the bills and yeah, I need, I need to get going and get more pets. As you've seen the past few vlogs, I've been selling hard, so... Uh, but I've been doing a lot of PR for these paintings as well, so... The PR seems to be doing the trick, so I'm off to get these packaged away to the new owners, and then maybe this afternoon get stuck into a uh, bit of painting. Uh, since the holidays are over and we've had a rest bite and back to work. I thought I'd show you those pets before they went. <laughs> right guys, I just want to say thanks to all those people who bought my art over the Christmas and New Year period. It was most welcome, especially as I keep saying <laughs> to pay the bills. We have all have lots and lots of bills to pay and with your help I just managed to uh, scrape by so many thanks so on to the next piece of this vlog right guys a uh, couple of tips for you if you're ever if you're an artist and you're thinking about selling on eBay uh, or any other of the sites that you sell your art to the most important advice I would give you is to Communicate. Communication is the key to good business and I get a lot of praise for my communication on my eBay art shop. Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing nothing untowards or special that I, I go out my way to, to achieve or whatever but it's just part of my life that I have to speak to whoever's buying my art or my items on uh, my eBay art shop. So, it's a, uh, what would you say? It's a, uh, uh, I think it's part, part of the, the process of selling. Anybody that sells, uh, just, just, just say art, but it could be any item. People in the, in the uh, business of selling, <laughs> I don't understand if they don't communicate with their buyers how they get, get more more purchase or more more get great feedback from uh, the business they do. So uh, that's like, that's one of the key elements that I would advise uh, people, especially artists, because this is an artist channel, uh, fashion art, art, blah blah blah. Uh, so that's advice I give to fellow artists is that you must communicate with you the people that you're selling your art to or your your potential buyers. So that's a, a piece of art that 
Uh, not a piece of, a piece, piece of advice that uh, that's the number one advice I would uh, give to anybody that's selling art on eBay. eBay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Kick it. Another uh, good piece of advice is always use your own ideas and never ever copy a fellow artist on the site you're using eBay or, or any site. Uh, never ever copy another artist's work or similar to his work. You must make up your own uh, subjects and your own ideas, your own style of art, etc, etc. And I mean, if you, if you start copying other people or you see, if you see a piece of art that's selling on eBay and you say, I'm going to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to copy something similar because he's getting great sales. So let's try and do the same subject in the same thing. Mean, mm -mm, that's, that's, a, that's a no, no. That is, that is not going to go down very, very well with the, uh, the artist involved or uh, it's also seen by other artists and it's a no-no in the art world. <laughs> Never ever uh, try and jump in the bandwagon of someone, someone, some other artist who's uh, doing quite well like myself. I'm doing quite well so I take uh, homage into <laughs> anybody that's trying to uh, replicate or copy my art or my style. Uh, it's common sense really. It's just like any other business. If you were to steal uh, a business idea from another company, well, they're going to go all out to to uh, <laughs> to make your life hell. You know what I mean? So it's no any different from from artists. So that's my second bit of advice: is never ever uh, copy another artist's work or even similar similar to his work. You have if you if you are. Uh, if you are a genuine artist, then you are going to develop your own style and your own subjects. And if you cannot sell, and, and that's it, do not steal someone else's ideas. That's a, a, a great bit of advice from me, because I've seen it quite often on eBay. That uh, I mean, when I look through, when I'm, when I'm listing my stuff, and I see, uh, I, I, I can tell straight away, that someone is trying to uh, copy another artist's work or my 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 own, which has happened. Uh, so, but I can see straight away. You go on eBay and you'll see it. You'll see it straight away. You'll see similar artwork to other artists' work, and it does not work. Chances are they won't sell them because buyers, if they're wise, they'll see that somebody's trying to copy somebody other somebody else's work and they'll stay well clear of it because that means that that artist cannot develop his own ideas or her ideas. So that's a, another bit of advice from me. Next. Hey guys, the most important thing that you should be doing when you're selling art on any art site, but my art site is eBay, so I'm going to, if you hear me saying eBay, that's because uh, that's the main one I deal with. So it's the only one I deal with. So the next item is packaging. Guys, when you're packaging your art, whether it's paper or whatever, but especially, especially if it is made of paper, watercolor paper, you must reinforce that package with stiff card, really stiff card or a board of some kind, just so that it doesn't get folded or warped. I've had many, when I first started off on eBay, uh, there was, I was getting a, a few complaints uh, of my customers coming back and saying, so, sorry, but my, the art that you sent me has been folded over by the postman and put through the letterbox. <laughs> and that, that, that happened quite, quite regular. So in order for that not to happen, you must use an envelope that says do not bend on it, or you can write on it, do not bend. And in case someone just ignores that, and they try to bend it, you must put a stiff card inside it. When that person or the postman feels the stiff card in it, the chances are they'll, they'll, not, they'll not bend it. You know what I mean? So, uh, very rarely will, will they do that. Very, very rarely, can't get my words out. Very rarely, since I adopted that 
technique of putting a stiff card or a stiff board in beside my paintings, uh, it's never happened to uh, touch wood. <laughs> so that's, that's another most important note is to make sure that your uh, delivery envelope or package that you're sending is stiff and hard and that this does not bend. Or it ruins the hard work. No, I mean, nobody wants their watercolour. They're, they're great watercolour paint that they've just done, folded over, increased and bent and put through a, a letterbox. You know what I mean? So that's a really important uh, point for you to take note of. Um, and I know I can guarantee there's a lot of artists out there that sell stuff on eBay or Etsy or whatever, and they ain't doing that. And chances are they're artwork will be received either twisted or bent or creased or whatever so make sure you have a stiff piece of card in beside your painting of course it doesn't matter if you've got a canvas board if it's a canvas board that you're sending that painting in uh, it just needs a nice packaging you know what I mean you could put that in, a, in an envelope or a nice uh, box or whatever and there's no chance on earth that that will get bent uh, but it's mainly for the paper and the, the canvases. You know how there's a lot of artists that say uh, I'll get a piece of canvas and they'll just paint on it instead of putting a canvas frame on it. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the same with that. A nice stuff card should do the trick with, if you're just sending uh, oil paint on, on just a, a sheet of canvas. So anyway, I hope that... Uh, <laughs> is a wee bit informative information for you. So, I was doing nothing this afternoon, so I thought, what better than to come and give you a little couple of tips, well, some of the more important tips that I go by for selling my art on eBay. So, anyway, I hope that was a bit of information for you. Uh, I'll, I'll probably, I'll do a lot more tips for you. But you need to subscribe so you don't miss them, know what I mean? So hit the subscribe button and give this a like if you like the tips and then I'll know to do more. But in future vlogs I'll probably give you a lot more tips and whatever uh, in the way that I work and the way that I think is the best ideas uh, to start selling your patents on eBay. So anyway, that's another, that's, a, that's two or three tips I've gave you for today. So. Let's get on with the next piece of the vlog. I think I'm going to have to uh, go to the town. I've got a couple of things to do. So anyway, let's go. You see I shaved? <laughs>